Today's Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Fairbanks Art of Plastic Surgery with wellness team expert, Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks. Hey everybody, welcome to our Talking Wellness series. I'm Holly Love and today we are back with our wellness team expert, Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks to tell you all about facelifts. Hi, Dr. Fairbanks, how are you? Hello, Holly, I'm doing well, thank you. So we are talking facelifts today because there are a number of things to consider on any procedure that you might be wanting to undertake. Number one is timing, and number two is knowing all of your options and recovery, because that's obviously gonna play into your work life and your schedule, because arming yourself with as much information as humanly possible when considering a surgery like this is probably the best thing you can do and there are a lot of different ways to approach a facelift. You're correct. There are a couple of factors to consider. With timing, this procedure can be done all year round. However, there are certain people that have schedules that allow them to come in only at certain times of the year. For example, many people want to have it done, say, in the winter or the early spring, and that way it doesn't interfere with their summer activities. Mm -hmm. There are people where their jobs won't let them do it until a certain time, such as spring break or summer break. So it really all depends on the patient and their agenda. Well, I would like to break down the different ways to approach a facelift so that people can really understand because each one really brings about a different result. You're correct. There are different types of facelifts. So the original facelift was a simple skin lift, just lifting up the skin up and over. And then there are the intermediate or standard lifts, which is pretty much standard care across the country. And then we decided to go even deeper and that's called a deep plane facelift. And that goes down into a second layer and past what we call the release zones. So at that point you can really see the pull and delivers a more natural and longer lasting result. With a facelift, what's really important is the pull, the direction of pull. You don't wanna be stretched and strange you don't want to look like everything is just going straight up. Right. You want to make sure that it's a natural looking facelift. Let's talk about your approach because you combine 17 years in this industry. You combine your artistic skill with advanced surgical skills and you've got a real custom version of all of those. Tell me a little bit more about that. So the facelifts I offer are uh, dependent upon the patient and uh, that's why the evaluation is very important and to understand what the patient's goal is. So we can go all the way from the deep plane facelift, which is essentially a double layer and going deeper, going further, and having a, a more youthful appearance to um, a simple skin lift, which is good for some people and maybe that's all they need. So it really depends on what the patient needs and what the patient wants. I think facelift more than any other procedure, it needs to look natural. Nobody wants to look done. Like we were talking about before, you want to have people just be like, have you been sleeping better? Have you lost weight? Are you in That's love? Correct. Like, why are you glowing? Those are the responses that you get from your facelifts. But correct. I think we've all seen one that looks very mm -hmm. fake and very scary. And that natural results is the most important thing, especially in this procedure. So That's understanding correct. what the different types of facelifts deliver in the end is really important. That's correct. What about ages? Is there a specific age that you recommend to come in and start having this conversation or is that a preference? Well, too? the typical age that we see facelift patients coming in is usually 50s, 60s, sometimes early 70s. We've seen them as early as late 30s, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, the patients that we've done at a younger age tend to have more lax skin at a younger age. Wow. And then there are the patients who say, you know what, I'm looking older, but I feel younger because I exercise and I want my face to match the rest of my body. Right. And those are the other people that will come in for the facelift. Let's talk recovery. How many days, because this isn't something like you can go and get done on your lunchtime. No. There's going to be a little bit of recovery. It always takes time. If you want to have a good result with safety, less swelling, less bruising, it takes a little more time. I tell people to take at least two weeks off from work. People who come in from out of town will get back on airplanes to go home at 10 to 14 days. It's about then that most of the swelling and bruising has gone down and sometimes needs to be concealed with a little bit of makeup. Then I tell people to avoid any strenuous activities any aerobic exercise for at least six weeks. 
After that, you can do anything you want. And that's how quickly the, the swelling and bruising has, has gone down so that they're better off in public again. And you look relatively back to normal, like the swelling. I know swelling takes a really long time to yes. completely go away. Typically, I tell people, wait for three months. After three months, you can pretty much tell what your facelift is going to look like. Mm -hmm. Now, the scars will always be pink for the first few months. Mm -hmm. They start to fade, and it usually takes a full year for the scars to completely fade. Okay. And what about the bruising? How long does that take? If there's bruising, and sometimes there's more than others, mm -hmm. um, two, three weeks. Okay. Uh, fortunately, that can be covered up with some makeup. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually a, a fairly well accepted thing. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested in getting this done, what is the best way to get a hold of you and what is the next step? They can go to the website at fairbanksmd.com. There you can find an online consultation and get as much information as you'd like. And for a limited time, you can book a free consultation. Just put in promo code TALK365TV. Thank you for that so much. So for our viewers, he's agreed to extend his offer to do a free consultation if you enter promo code TALK365TV when booking online at FairbanksMD.com, which is huge. He spends a lot of time drawing, sketching, bringing his artistic skill, his medical knowledge, answering all of your questions probably over a $200 value that you're saving by entering that promo code or let them know that you saw the spot today and then get in here because knowing and being able to have your questions answered will be half the battle at making the decision and moving forward and then, you know, leading your best life, which is what we want for everybody. That's correct. Well, Dr. Fairbanks, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this.